filming? Yeah, thank you for filming. Hello! Welcome back to Echo and Jam <laughs> No, I'm here as well. Hi! Hi, it's welcome back. It's been a long, long time, hasn't it? We could almost do this as season two. <laughs> Season three, I think it's our third year now, isn't it? As we oh, I can't remember. We Perhaps definitely you did can last look year. back over our back catalogue and about, let us know because we don't know what. What's there's going about to 150 on. films, but anyway, we've been to the boot sale today. Our very first one this year. It is, and I really enjoyed it. It was good. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how much fun we've been missing. Yeah. No, we, we've had um, the the year didn't start very well for us. We we lost Chester, our black dog, and so things got completely thrown by that. And yeah. And we weren't in the mood for... No, and throughout the winter, um, if you guys haven't remembered from last year, I'm trying to kind of niche down more into clothing. And uh, I was trying out buying some stuff from wholesalers. Um, so I did some of that. Didn't really put it on the film. Wasn't Didn't fit, really feel like Neil and Jeremy. It just felt like me. It was just all me. I didn't just want to make films of all me. So... You did. I did. Again, <laughs> if you look back over our earlier yeah. films, it was all about me. It was all me. about me. So. However, I've, um, I've got my own channel as well, Tales from a Broken Brain, if you want to check it out. And, and seen... I'm actually very comfortable sat in front of a camera <laughs> and talking on my own now. And Jan's actually got uh, oh, more I've... more subscribers than you've actually man managed oh, to monetize. Monetized. Last um, year, I think it was. You've got yeah. over 1,300? Yeah. Something like that. So, so if any of you know me from there, welcome to Neil and Jan. Yep. Or if you want to come over mm. to there, sometimes he does appear on it as well. I do. Uh, we well, very much have an echo in, in my face. Uh, no, go and sit down. Go so, um, would you, do you want to start off with something else? Shall I just get my big category out of the way? I. Oh, are we going to do here's 50 you, pairs of jeans one at a time again? No, 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 no. We're going to do, right, so, um, um, well, you know what jeans look like? I bought 25 of them. Job done. <laughs> Over to jam. <laughs> <laughs> pairs of jeans, 25, yeah, random. Right, well, just before we went on air, while he was busy sorting things out, I was just looking something up on my phone because I picked up two pairs of shoes that look, I've got wide feet, wide fitting shoes they're in my size and they she wanted two pounds a pair for them so uh, they're a bit granny shoes but i am a granny I'm, i am an old lady so i'm allowed to wear old lady Are they shoes the same brand? yeah so this pair has never been worn they are Easy B shoes. So I just took a minute to look them up online, went right. onto the I've Easy B website. Easy I'd never heard of them. No. Went onto Easy B website, looked it up, that style, and I'm going, no, no, <laughs> surely not. They're a hundred pounds a pair. <laughs> I've got a brand new hundred pound pair of shoes, which I never paid that much money for. Uh oh. Well, that's Echo just knocked a tape ruler over. Yeah, so. so um, a one metre ruler. On we go. So, I've got uh, that pair that's yep. never been worn. Right. And um, another pair that. They still seem to be, aren't they? Also have never been worn. Both. Yeah, exactly the same. Yeah. These ones might have been worn, I don't know. Well, they still smell, I hate to say it, they but still they sniff a shoe, smell but brand new. they sniff and smell brand new. Like, there's no foot smell in there. It's just rubber, kind of like, you know, the rubbery, the smell of new shoes. The soles are That's... absolutely, well, I can't believe that. So 200 quid worth of shoes for me. For how much? Four quid. For four quid. See, nice. if you haven't been to a boot sale yet this year, you better get going before yeah. I get all the bargains. Nice. I'll just put those up there for now. Well, people who aren't returning to the channel, if this is your first time to the channel, you oh, won't know welcome. that. Welcome. Welcome. But you won't know that I used to love picking up cameras, and I couldn't resist it today. There was. Um, I like to pick up the old thirty-five millimeter cameras. Um, now, I paid five pounds for these four. Um, you got a really cheap kind of um, 
That's a really cheapy one, whatever brand that is. I, can't, I didn't even put the glasses on. How silly is that? Miranda. Miranda. There's a Miranda one. I think they're probably about five quid's worth. I think it's um, now blind as a bat with those glasses. Yeah, I need to go to the... the I thought, oh, here's a Nikon. You think, that's good, it's a Nikon. And then when I look closer up, it's got the symbol for the a APS um, advanced. So it's not a 35 millimeter camera. It's the um, it's the oh, advanced that, system. Yeah, it's a different film. Which, but it's still a Nikon. It is a Nikon, but the, these are going for like seven or eight quid. Um, but I mean, I, I paid five pound for all four, so nothing great there. The only good one we've got here is... Is that an Olympus? No, this is a Samson, and it's an AF Zoom 1050. They're going for anywhere between 15 to 25 quid, so I might make some money oh, on that. That takes me back a few years. And then... Oh, it would have been about £199 new. Yeah. I used to sell them. <laughs> So it's not worth a lot, it's still not worth a lot now, and then even worth less, this is probably worth about three or four quid, this is a Patrica Sport. Um, so there's possibly about 25 to 30 quid on all four <laughs> cameras. Patrica, we didn't sell Patrica. We did. No, we're above that. <laughs> Patrica was too posh. <laughs> too <for them>. posh. <laughs> but, and if, if you watched us last year, you would have seen I picked up a Denby mug, which just... Two days ago, I decided to give to myself because I love it so much. It's a lovely colour, isn't it? It is beautiful. And the shape's and I'm, nice. No, I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to keep it for me. I've still got my Mad Dog Lover cup. That um, one was 50p last year. This yeah. one was a pound last year. So, all good on but that. But I bought that for no, you to use. Looking. Yes. Because he loves the Mad Dog. I, I love the lovely dog. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I love this both. is the Mad Dog. Bears under the table here. Um, yes, yeah, so over to you, Jan. Uh, so that was my cameras. So, um, what's the boots are without a piece of Yadro? Got this lovely little duckling. I don't know if you can see that very well. If I put it against a plain background, does that make it any easier to see? It probably does, yes. Possibly, maybe not, but yeah. anyway. But, but it's got little, little wings on it's it. So a it's Neo a Neo Bayadro, it's from 1982, it's dated 1982. So it's 40 years old. Yeah. Um, it lady wanted five pounds for it, so I've put it back pretty sharp. Because I thought, I know it's, it as a resale piece, it's, it's no way worth, right, worth yeah. that. It would sell for about five pounds on eBay, to be honest. Right. Um, but... If anyone watching last year, I did start picking up Yadro and started becoming a bit obsessive by it. You no. can't see from there, but over there I've got an Ikea glass cabinet that's just filled with last year's Yadro. <laughs> it was a bit of fun When I though. die, it'll be worth a fortune. Yeah, well. <laughs> but anyway, that's from my own personal credit. Actually, better most not, of the stuff I was, today is for me. I was going to say, but not... I'm a failed reseller. <laughs> when you die... I'm just buying me stuff. When you when you die, it'll be worth a fortune. Better not die any time soon. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, a, a piece of Yadro cost me three pounds, and I didn't actually barter it. I just well, not barter as in haggle. Yeah. It was just a case of I put it down, walked off, went back, probably half an hour later on, and said, "Would you take three? And she said, "Yeah." So. So fair enough. Yeah. So it's a three pound duck. <sighs> Um, yeah, so my next um, bits I bought this little pile. Um, one to drink, one to drink. Yeah, drink's fine. Drink's fine. Uh, this little pile. So, this is actually. Um, this is actually workwear trousers for building sites for uh, uh, people in the um, in in trades, plumbers, uh, carpenters, people like people are in the building trade. Um, they're normally like twenty quid a pair. I imagine I can probably sell them for ten quid, ten twelve quid each. Um, so there's a couple of pairs of trousers, um, and it, so these are site trousers. The, the brand is Site, um, but I think I should get ten twelve quid. Uh, might even get a little bit more. I think they can be up to 20 to 25 pound a piece. 
Um, so a couple of pairs of those, and there was this. And the perfect fit. Oh, perfect fit! Excellent. Oh, I'm even more happy now. You think, well, yeah. Actually fit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then there's this. What I think is a work style kind of jacket. Um, so I'm hoping I could maybe get twenty five for that. Um, so yeah, so that's just some little work style bits that I picked up. I say a lot of this is clothes, so I've, I've done them into kind of piles. Um, mm -hmm. Just so I can do them quickly. I don't want to go over each piece individually. We're just going to do little bits of. What have you got in your your bags? Um, I like your bags because this is like. Well, what have we got next? It's like I Christmas because I buy stuff at the boot sale, and I kind of half wrap it up to keep it protected. Mm. And by the time I get home, I haven't got a clue what I've bought. It's, you know, I'm, I'm old, short, brain damage, short-term memory loss. Who knows? But <laughs> because we work one, around separately, I also don't know what she's bought either. There are three of these. I remember there are three of these. Oh, right. I nice little three set. For 50p for the set of three mugs, which are Royal Worcester. Good brand. Fine Bone China, Royal Worcester. Bone China, all right. Yeah. Not my particular taste myself, so they won't be making an appearance in our cupboard anytime soon. But but bone china and raw. Three but Worcester. I find that if you're selling mugs, if you can sell them in pairs or higher, yeah, they get a much better price. So that's fifty p. I paid for all three together, and I said to the lady, "Is that fifty p each?" And she said, "No, all of them for fifty p." And I said, "Oh, there sounds a lady who wants to sell everything today." <laughs> she said, "Yeah, I'm moving," but I. I just sold yesterday a set of four mugs I bought for 80p right. for the four for £20. So, yeah, if you sell them in multiples, they do seem to go better. Nice. So, 50p Royal Worcester, and Royal Worcester's a good brand. Yeah. So, yeah. so, there you go. Cool. Are you uh, waiting for me still? Oh, uh, yeah, come to another one. Well, next. Um, I bought, I saw these saucepans, they do have lids, and it was actually the lids that drew me in because oh, I yes. recognised the lids as exactly the same ones that we've yeah. got. Yeah, that's for the big one. Oh yeah, that is a bigger one, but, but anyway, um, we already have uh, the saute pan and the stock pot in this range. Mm -hmm. That we bought 25 years ago didn't we so yeah. i know they're really really good quality and there's two in the same brand and then i think this is a different brand yeah this is a it's a bit cheap i'm not sure that one doesn't seem to have so much weight as the others but right. but anyway i was same interested style. in these two and i said how much for the saucepan she said five pounds for all three so I bought all of them. You can see actually that there is a different brand. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And my, the main difference I can see is that the, that end, it's got the bigger loop at the end that side and it's the bigger loop at the bottom that side. Yeah, so, so that's opposites. the a lid for that one. But unless you really knew, you wouldn't... They look identical, don't they, apart from that. Nice. Yeah, so all three for five pounds. Should I put them over? That and way? they're clean, but if you go over them with um, Barkeeper's Friend, it'll bring them up like new. Excellent. And it, that one actually says something. It's oh. a label. Oh, what does that label say? And the label says, "Warning: Handles and knobs may Heat. become hot during use. It's recommended to use oven gloves." Yes, I know they get hot. We've yeah, we've found that out by mistake. Well, I actually, I don't find they do get that hot on the. Oh, you can't. You, you can't feel. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell temperature with my left hand because of my brain. Yes, what? Because of my brain damage, so I am a bit of a liability. But anyway, three decent pans. They would have been ten to fifteen pounds each new. Right. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to do mine in bundles, so it's all. Um, so here we have um, some sports tops. So, uh, for example, we've got an Umbro sports top. 
Um, this one I picked up. Um, this is actually a uh, Manchester United fleece. Uh, we've got an, I think that one's Adidas top. Uh, Adidas top. Nike Air top. Um, we've got another, oh, that's a, um, what's the brand? Um, Reebok. Still got top, still got labels. Oh, nice long sleeve one. So nice long sleeve from Reebok. Uh, brand new with tags. Yes, yeah, that's what you said. Oh, sorry, I was. Oh, I don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that was new. To, then you've got. Uh, don't feel sorry for me. Doesn't listen to a word I say either. No. Adidas sports top. Uh, Reebok sports top. Another Nike sports top. Uh, another Adidas sports top. So they're all. All look pretty much the same, just mm. full stop. But um, yeah, so they were good. Right now, what's missing is um, I also <laughs> bought the dogs a buffalo uh, that's horn over each. There. I'll put it out of the way so they couldn't get it. Um, yeah, buffalo horn each, which were ten pounds each, but that's what they yeah buying. buffalo horns. And she particularly is in a massive. Um, when Chester was alive, he was our best friend and they used to wrestle all day every day and play all the time and now he's gone, she's a bit bored and she's chewing and she's... Yeah, she wants something to chew, something She good. needs something, so I bought two buffalo horns, one for her and one for Bear Purr to Nick later yeah, and sure, um, two chicken and cheese... Um, Stick, they're uh, like long chew. stick sausage things. Them. They're only over. No, 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 it's all right. Okay. But they were a pound each. So the dogs yeah. have got twenty-two pounds worth of treats. Excellent. What else have you got, Jen? Um, well, I was going to say, actually, because I use this big white basket. That if I just show you, this sits on my on the seat of my walker, and then I take a load of tea towels because I buy china, and then usually wrap things up with the tea towels, but. I was kind of out of um, practice of doing it. So today I ended up just layering it up like a lasagna. There's like some bits and then some tea towels and then some more bits and more tea towels. So um, this one I think was a 50p mug. It's a, oh, a Scorpio uh, one. Scorpio. But this is by Danoon. And Danoon tend to... Is Danoon good? Uh, yeah, they do tend to sell but for 50p it's uh i think it's bone china yeah fine bone china astrology by dunoon and all the things that um actually it's quite a nice because i didn't really look at it i just said how much the mugs and she said 50p so i picked out this one it's got like the scorpio on the front um which is october 24th to november 22nd who anyone like me who doesn't know their star signs and then it's got intense, dynamic, passionate, imaginative, determined, secretive, sincere, brave. And um, it's got some some symbols on it and it's self-confident, geranium, all the things to do with Scorpio. To do with Scorpio. But it's a nice bone china mug. Excellent. So that would probably sell for at least My 10. Excellent. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my next one, I um, was picking up some shirts that I thought might be good. Um, this is a Harley Davidson um, Harley Davidson shirt. Uh, it feels good, really good kind of quality. Uh, I'm not quite sure. It's a um, three times XL, um, but I'm hoping that that might be a, a a twenty quid kind of shirt. Yeah, it's got to be plenty so, of big bikers out there, haven't there? Yeah, so or even smaller bikers who want people, to put a jumper underneath. Or people that just like have the brand Harley Davidson as they. Yeah tend to sell more clothes than they do motorcycles. Okay. Right. This mug was the same layer, so I think it was from the same store. So 50p again, and this is a Kingsbury Fine Bone China. Rather a pretty little mug there. Neil always used to do the leaning forward and showing the camera. Yeah. He's just letting me struggle these days. Um, he's, because we've got the dogs here, the table's set so far away from us that yeah, otherwise the dogs will push the table as we're kind of, so. 
But anyway, sorry if you're too far away. Yes. Uh, Are you still going? We have my next one. Um, so I bought this uh, hoodie. And uh, I just thought that it might do quite well. Um, it's a, a Mickey, a Disney Mickey Mouse uh, hoodie. Um, and on the back we have a bit of a design. But it's a proper Disney store hoodie. Um, and I thought that that might, that might sell. I thought proper Disney store might. I know that you're, when you get the Disney store mugs and stuff, they go quite well, don't they, when you buy? Um, well, they're not a fast sell, but you normally make a, a decent amount on them. Yeah. So I've got about five bits left. I bought clothing. You bought clothing? Oh, Hunter... Oh. Hunter Welly liners. Hunter Welly liners. They're in a size small, but these are about sixteen pounds. Are they for you? No, they're not. Look, no, my feet are a bit bigger than that. Okay. I think that's almost. A, it says small in it, but I would say that's almost a child size. Yeah. But. But Hunter Wellies are expensive, so the liners probably would be. Uh, well, they retail at about fifteen pounds. Well, fifteen. Well, how much do you pay pound? Fifty p. Two. I paid two, two quid for them, but so but that's... then you never know. It's a case of if you stick them on eBay and somebody finds them that doesn't know you can buy them brand new for less. Yes. <laughs> you can chance your arm. <laughs> well, especially when you put in Hunter Wellies as the, as the search term first and then in liners. And anybody who sees... Well, they're just nice little pink yeah. liners. I saw them and I was seduced by the brand. And Absolutely. So I got them for £2. Right, um, talk about Seduced by the Brand, I, I don't know if this one's going to go very well, uh, hopefully, it's a, do you call it a little shirt jacket? It's a Levi's it's a shirt, yeah, no I wouldn't call it a jacket at all, I'd call it a shirt. A Levi's shirt, paid £5 for it, um, and I'm expecting it to maybe sell for anywhere, I, I might try it up for 20 quid. Why um, not? But it's got a lovely um, detail on the pocket if you hold it up. It's got like a handkerchief type. But at the very least, I'm hoping to sell it for 15 at the very least. Yeah. Um, and paid five, so I think that's five into 15 is okay. Um, I'm aware that I've sold about, well, not so sold, I'm aware that I've bought about 50 items today, I've spent uh, 110. Uh, so on average, that's two pounds an item. So, mm -hmm. that's nice. What is that? Port Mirian plate, a botanic garden. It's still got its original label on there, so it's just it's an eighteen. Yeah, it's sold as an eight-inch plate. From um, 2019, uh, no, 2018 it'd be, wouldn't it? But anyway, I've got that one. If you want to show yes, the camera, that's a great one. and this one as well for six pounds the pair. And this one is um, this one is Botanic Garden again. A very pretty pattern on it. Oh, blue! What's the blue? Oh, they're the same type. Uh, this is uh, iris. Iris, and that's and that uh, one is tulipa. Yeah, pink parrot tulip. So the pair for six pounds. Yeah. So. Yeah, quite. Good. A couple of Port Mary in there. Excellent. Um, they're rather lovely, aren't they? Oh, I've uh, must have broken them out while I was out. Next one. Found a sharp bit. I'm hoping this will go quite well. Um, I've got to check that it's not fake. Um, but we have a a body warmer or a gilet, uh, and it's Polo Ralph Lauren. Um, I'm hoping that that I bought this for three pounds. I'm hoping that that might sell for thirty-five maybe to 50 
depending mm. how much they normally are. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think it's a small size, but you get a lot of very slim, small ladies that like them for riding. Yes. Things, don't they? Yes, yes. So and that's... I have to say that all this came from the South of England Showground Arding Eye boot sale this morning, and we were amazed at how well it's going. Yeah. You know that the guy. What's his name? Do you remember? No. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't remember your name, but um, the chap that's running it has, took it over last year, and yeah. the first few weeks were a little bit iffy, but it's really come into its own. It now. has. And the only thing that I could say against it is, if you're taking anything with wheels, the uh, shed that it's inside has thick sand because it is an yeah. agricultural thing yeah so i've just noticed we've got sand all over the table because um yeah i put my basket on the floor i had i couldn't push my walker i was having to drag it behind me because yeah. i just couldn't push it through the sand so if you if you're taking a child in a buggy don't take the child out and let it walk or carry it and you took the trolley and I you took managed the trolley. to but then he's stronger than i yeah. am so and i did have a little chat well, with it I was going to say he's younger than I am, but he, he was 50, so he's catching up. <laughs> I did have a little chat to the organiser, and he was saying about, you know, because today it was not only in the barn, it was actually out outside as inside well. Inside and outside. Which was really cold for the people outside, but um, he was um, he was telling me how he could have tried to squeeze another row in, but he was trying to be respectful that, you know, uh, anyone with disabilities or, or people with trolleys and whatever, not having it too tight together so you couldn't pass each other. Yeah, so he was. There was kind, there's kind of a row around the outside, and there was another row down the middle. Yeah. And the row down the middle, there there was a bottleneck at one point. I think point there was like where... three rows down the middle. I think there was like five rows of. I think there was two outside. And... We didn't film it. So no. If you were there, pop it in the comments below. <laughs> But anyway, but anyway, he was we respectful are, of space. So we are really, are really outside. impressed. They've done really well. If you need a, a wet weather indoor boot sale in the south of England, then Arding Live's the one you want to go to. And even if you just want to go there, you know, yeah. if you're local, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good boot sale. So um, and uh, and they've been go apart from there's been a couple of odd weekends I think where like, there's been other things that have booked in that venue. Uh, but other than that, I think they've been going throughout the winter. Uh, it's just we had the winter off pretty much. Yeah, we did try and go last week, but <laughs> last week <laughs> it was off. It was a bike the one show. That we decided that we would go. It yeah, wasn't uh, occasionally there are other things booked, and if it, if it's only inside weather, then um, obviously it's cancelled. But other than that, they try and do it most weeks, so it's pretty good. So uh, I think I've got like two items that I'm going to show you left. Oh, what was that one? Um, right, so my next one is um, this is oh, it's like a body warmer with arms. Hmm. Uh, it's body just, warmer with a fake jumper underneath. With a fake jumper underneath. Um, well, it's kind of it's a jacket y kind of. It's a super dry one anyway. Um, but it's quite nice. Um, so I pick it was this one. I think it was that one, and then there was this one. It's my last item I was going to show. This jacket was it was eight quid, eight pounds. So there's this this quite big kind of I like nice that. padded with the that just hood. Looks, it's and got a look of posh about it. It has, I think it has. Um, and it's so it's super dry. It's just really nice condition. I think that probably would have been. 75 quid to 100 quid maybe 120 quid jacket mm. so i don't know i'll have to do some research on that but that was one of my that was like my last thing i'm gonna show i think right well i've got um there was a lady who had some a 50p thing on what her table it's a, a soup dish and well i think it's a soup dish and a saucer although I mean, it's, got it's a, fruit a, it's round a it. no it's it's a pouring thing it's a Sauce? Some sort of sauce thing. Bread sauce would you have in that? Oh. We're not posh enough to have this on our table. <laughs> we don't know what it is. <laughs> but um, it's Wedgwood. It's Wedgwood oh, Quince. Wedgwood. Oven to tableware. And I thought, well, at 50p, 
Yeah, I mean it's got fruit all around it. I wonder if yeah. the fruit has anything to do with the suggestion of what could would actually go in it. Apple sauce. And um, that's another one from the same range. Another little jug, which were quince. Very very shallow little jug. It's it's only about two inches high. I would say that's probably cream jug. You know, you, you won't, there's certainly not a gravy boat. I, yeah. I would guess that's cream, but very pretty. It's got like pears and um, yeah. various other pears and onions and uh, that's, grapes. No, that's, no, not gra gra that's gooseberries. 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 You can see grapes. My grapes. I haven't got my. So, I know what gooseberries Those two were 50p each. Right. Um, the same lady, I bought four things from her. I don't know. If, I've got a feeling I paid fifty. It's a little That's jug a here. Different little one, isn't it? Now this is Denby. Right, we like Denby. And it's not chipped, but part of the patterning has worn off. I, yeah, it does look like it's. I don't know. If, what are you saying is worn off? Well. Because it's it just every looks other. to me as though every other bit of pattern is well, maybe missing it's something. Not, if it's every other, then it's probably supposed to be like that. Possibly. But, it's a bit random to be... But a lovely little Denby jug. Footed base, a uh, curled up handle on the side there. Right, yeah, I'm going to point out something, that it, why, why it's part of the pattern. Why? Because you see on these two flowers here, yeah. Above it, it only has two. Where you haven't got any, there's three. It's part of the design. Oh, it's well. not a worn-off thing. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Denby, why did you design a pattern that looks as though half it's worn, worn off? off. <laughs> Seriously, Denby. <laughs> I expect better of you, but we love Denby anyway. So 50p for a Denby jug. You can't go wrong on that. Um, and the... Same lady again. I saw these. Oh, what are they? Countess Fine Bone China Table Name Cards placeholders. Um, she's sellotape them down, but hang on a bit. I don't want to damage them. No, don't, no you're, on, you're on camera, bear. Don't don't do sneezing, please. into them so much sellotape but it's a, a set of these um that should say fine bone china made in england on the bottom and they're just little table placeholders with pretty rows on i don't know if you want to okay Two, four, six, six of them there. Mm -hmm. They're different, aren't they? Yeah. But I thought, well, for 50p, that looks like a £12 sale to me. <laughs> what else have you got? Um, oh, pretty mug. Admiral Fine Bone China. That's yes. uh, just flowers. I've got a feeling there were two of these flowers and fruits. There's like raspberries and things. Mm -hmm. I've got a feeling that's that... honeysuckle as well. I think the flower looks like that's honeysuckle. Yeah, unless that was no, no. no. Hang on a minute because uh, I've got to more... delve deeper. Okay, sit down. But while I'm delving for the pair, there are two of these mugs and little saucer. I don't know if you'd call it cup and saucer. It doesn't have the, the what do you call it? Rim? The norm, it yeah, holds the, it kind of, the dip that the, normally a yeah. cup would sit in. And, and I would call that bigger than a cup. But having said that, it's pretty, it's uh, Royal Kendall Fine Bone China, 1985. Oh, Kendall. And 
there's a pair of them somewhere somewhere there's another one or I can fill more stuff in here oh that's not it that's uh, another bone china it's very colourful these quirky mugs tend to go quite well especially if they're mm. bone china so that would have been 50p and now I've started off paying 50p for things so um, that's the second one of those and these are sad well that's Sadler older chintz uh, the, these don't match that's why they look the same pattern but that's Sadler Older Chintz and that's Royal Kendall. Ooh. So but that's they why look, they don't... They look the same. They look identical. Yeah. It is the same pattern. Exactly the same pattern. But then, you know, our dinner set, we've got the Jamie, o, Jamie Oliver white on white dinner set. Yeah. And where we've replaced pieces over the years, some of them are the original... Um, can't think who made Worcester? it original. Royal Worcester, and then later on, I think Churchill got the contract for it. Right. So you know we've got some made by one, some made yeah. by another. And you can tell, you can tell. It does. Can like, tell, there is a difference there is in a quality, difference, which is a shame. But a shame. you know, when you need everybody to have the same thing, yeah. then it's well. You might remember if you saw them. I found six at a car boot sale for a pound each. When I know that they were twenty yeah. pounds each originally. So thought, Absolutely. Well, that will do nice. I think I should have one more. Yep, yeah, one more. That's the pair for the for that one. So they don't quite match in pattern. Well, the but they will still sell as a pair. They're the outside pattern actually does the green leaf on the outside. That is the same. So it shows that it's from the same set. Yeah. And so, like I say, they're fine bone china. They'll sell as a pair. Yeah. And didn't I do well? Yeah, I think <laughs> you did. Especially those shoes. I can't get over those shoes. So. But most of the china today has been 50, that was 50p each. Yeah, those were 50p each. Those were two for a pound, so 50p each. That was 50p. The jug and the other pouring thing, 50p. All of those, including a set of three for 50p. So, yeah. Echo's Hello, going to say you did really well. Hello, Echo. Hasn't she grown? She's all grown up now and she's an auntie. There are only two bitches in her litter and her sister had a litter um, about six weeks ago. So and she's now Auntie Echo. Aren't you Auntie Echo? And still mad as a box of frogs. But anyway, that's all of it now. That was really good. I really we are changing that. tack with the channel in that Neil got so backed up with um, right. videos last year where I'd, we'd taped things. I'd tape um, uh, boot sale footage, given it to him. It never saw the light of day. And he just got so overwhelmed with editing that it just never I had got uploaded. I had 12 films at one point and it was just overwhelming. That and actually trying to run eBay as a business, uh, it was just too much for me. So we actually unannulled whether we would continue with the channel. Um, obviously because this yeah. is coming out, we are going to, but we're going to try and run it a lot simpler. Of, well, um, with my channel, um, because I don't know how to edit, I'm, I've just been filming and uploading so Neil's taken a leaf out of my book and he's just going to upload this you know warts and all yeah so there'll be no editing on the films from now on pretty much and so it's just anyway pop a, pop a thing in the comments you know do you prefer it edited or or spontaneous yeah anyway when but that gets will off, do for today and um, I've got to wash all this stuff up now yeah all this stuff will I went um, around about four months without listing anything at all, so my sales just completely stopped. But after we lost Chester, it seems to be a pattern with our dogs that the last couple of days of our dog's life end up costing me about 
two to two and a half thousand pounds between enormous vet bills, uh, a vet to come out to the house for the euthanasia and the cremation, you know, within, you know, a 48 hour period, it just goes around two, two, two and a half thousand pounds. And, and the dogs have their own credit card. Not that they're allowed to go shopping with it, but mm -hmm. I put all their expenses on it. But that now needs paying down. So I said, right, I'm going to start listing. I've got so much stuff that I've been buying over the years. Yeah. You know, some of it predates doing it with you, even, you know, just that I need to start clearing the house, getting rid of a load of stuff, but also paying the bills down. And whilst it's always been my intention to do that, this time, as soon as eBay give me the money, it goes straight off the credit card bill. I'm not, it doesn't, you know, it yeah. spends about a minute in my bank account and then it goes straight off the bill. So really trying to get that bill paid right down so that we've got enough credit on there. So if either of these two need it, well, there is enough there that if either of these two need anything, yeah. but I need more. Yeah, and I'm still in the daily refinement um, uh, mentoring group, uh, which is going great, learning lots of things, especially about clothing brands, how to shoot clothing, uh, and how get to them shoot the, clothing. Well, how, the, oh, the, shoot as in photograph. As in the for photographs. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, so um, the idea is obviously to to get uh, all your photographs done uh, nice and quickly. Uh, as most effectively as you can and then to get your stuff um, actually listed as quickly as possible um, but also filling in uh, the, the specifics that you can but it's, it's all about trying to learn how to do things effectively and at the moment I'm listing five a day I'm looking to get back to listing ten a day which means I need 70 items a week uh, and eventually I'd like to get to 20 a day um, but anyway so just well, let's see how we're doing um we'll make more films this year yeah Ready? well next time we go to a boot sale there'll be another show and tell afterwards Excellent. but anyway lovely to see you again don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video you know there's yeah. more resellers out there you know it's it's really grown even in the couple few years since we've been doing it isn't hasn't yeah. it but you know it's quite amazing to think back since we became official on the channel yeah how much we've learned you know i mean before then i knew a bit about cameras because i used to work in duty free at gatwick airport i was in the management team there so i knew about the stock that we used to sell so mm. cameras some of the fine, fine china um handbags what mulberry handbags, mulberry was, handbags yeah. you know all that sort of thing i knew about because it was stock that I was familiar with, but you know, over the years we've learned more about more things. Yeah, yeah. So, and now I know about shoes that cost a hundred pounds. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which for all of you, that might be a good, totally reasonable amount of money for a pair of shoes, but I don't. Well. <laughs> I don't buy shoes that I'm not one of these ladies who have you know dozens and dozens of shoes. I have a pair of shoes, and when they wear out then I'll reluctantly get another pair. <laughs> but now I've got two, that'll see me out. <laughs> <laughs> that'll do. That'll do. Cool, anyway. So anyway, that, that'll be it then. All right, see you on the next one. Bye.